speaker from a grassroots family justice campaign. Her name is Maina Pope Bredeman and she's from Thea. Thank you so much for being here today in the cold. This is what solidarity looks like. And until we get where we need to go, it's solidarity that will keep us going. I have drawn a lot of strength and courage today, and I am so grateful because we need those things now. After Sarah Everard, many have been forced to take in the full scope of the crisis we are facing. Police officers who brutalize and kill people in custody but fail to lift a finger for women brutalized and killed in our communities. Frontline support services trashed by a decade of Tory austerity cuts. Convictions so low, rape has effectively been decriminalized. The rot in this system goes far beyond a few bad apples. As we take in how bad things really are, what has to die today is the idea that change is coming from the top. Change is going to come this time the same way it always has, from below, from us, starting now with the commitment we make today to each other, to ourselves, to all those yet to come, and to all the ones we've lost. The one I lost was called Gaia. She was my family. She was bright, brave, kind, and creative. She laughed loudly and loved to dance. She was also a survivor of sexual violence, and she should be here today. Instead, she died alone on a cold night in November 2017 while we were out searching for her and waiting for the police to return our calls. She was 19 years old. The paperwork says hypothermia, but I call it a death by indifference. I can't tell you her story because after four years of waiting and three closed door reports, we are now just weeks away from the jury inquest into her death so we're not supposed to talk about it. But you don't need me to tell you guys' story because you already know it. That's why you're here, because you know there is no justice in this system, no support for those who need it, and no equality before the law. So please, stand in solidarity, follow Justice for Gaia, spelled G-A-I-A, on social media and take action with us because we are one family going up against the state and we can't do this alone. None of us can. That is why the movement matters because the mission is so big. We need a statutory inquiry into police misogyny, an overhaul of the criminal justice system to tackle the systemic racism sexism and discrimination that re-traumatizes survivors and blocks access to justice. The return of the public funding stolen by this government from shelters and rape crisis centers to bail out billionaires. A huge public awareness campaign on consent and ratification of the Istanbul Convention on Violence Against Women which this government has been promising for 10 years while survivors like Gaia have lost their lives. There is still so much, so many precious lives worth fighting for, organizing for, lifting each other up for, forcing the conversation for at work, at home, on the bus, in our own heads, and however we choose to push, we gotta push hard now together to turn things around and that means building a movement where every woman and girl has a place a movement that is relentlessly anti-racist anti-austerity internationalist and trans inclusive 
a movement that reflects the world we want to win and will find ways big and small every day to rise up for as long as it takes because we are fierce and defeat is not an option. Justice for Gaia! Justice for Justice for all of us! Justice for Gaia! Justice for all!